Greetings pen pals. We have another pen from Pen BBS today and this is a little bit different in that it's one of the very few piston filling pens from Pen BBS. They really don't do uh, much in the way of piston filling pens. This is a Pen BBS model 309. Um, so uh, this is this is just a, a really nice pen from Pen BBS. It's um, uh, not a not a, a, a particularly new model. So in the newer model so, sort of flagship grade pens uh, the clip is a bit more uh, deluxe so um, if we take a look at a pen um, like for example uh, the pen bbs 487 which is the latest model of pen bbs the clip is sort of the sword shaped clip but it's just sort of very a very solid substantial piece of metal um, not like a folded piece of metal this is uh, roughly the same shape but it's sort of more of a folded piece of metal and it's thinner so it's not quite as substantial or quite as sort of deluxe from a from a clip perspective um, it's the it's the, is the same clip on the pen bbs um, 268 uh, vac filler so if you're familiar with that one it is uh, it's the same clip on uh, as on that so uh, this is uh, not a particularly heavy pen weighs 20 grams and in terms of size it's a fairly conventionally sized pen here it is stacked up with a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan and as you can see it's basically spot on with these pens size wise the only thing um, uh, really uh, different is the little canonical um, canonical conical ends uh, of the um, stick out a tiny uh, a tiny bit um, so, so on the cap band, it says Pen BBS, has a little tiny Pen BBS logo, and says 309. Um, the, uh, there is a trim ring on the bottom. There is a, a clip ring on the top of the clip. They both, top and bottom, come to sort of cono uh, con conical points and um, match each other quite, uh, quite, um, quite nicely. It's a tapered, it's a tapered pen. So it starts big in the middle and then tapers down the, the end to, uh, towards the end of the cap and tapers down towards the end of the barrel. It takes two full turns to unscrew and it does post and I think it's quite comfortable to use posted. Probably long enough to use unposted. I'm a big po poster so I would be posting this pen. Section matches the uh, rest of the barrel which is, uh, which is nice. Particularly in this case you get this nice white finish just going all the way all the way through we're going to skip talking about the nib for just a minute because this is not the pen, the nib that came with it it came with a standard pen bbs fine nib i have many many uh, videos of and and a lot of my colleagues have videos as well of a lot of other pen bbs pens if you want to see the pen bbs garden variety fine nib in action there's lots of videos that'll show you that this is a, a custom grind jinhao architect nib so again we'll get to that uh get to that in a minute in terms of the filling mechanism it is a piston filler you can't really see much of the piston filler in action here so i have this other 309 that's not inked that's a partial demonstrator version so if you can uh, see we can see the uh the the piston in action and it's a pretty conventional screw type piston mechanism you just turn them up the bottom and it moves up and down this one is particularly nice is for its toolless maintenance you just simply um, can keep uh, can keep turning and the uh, end will just come right out and then you can uh, simply uh, uh, pull out the the piston and um, and uh, do whatever maintenance you uh, you want to do on the pen so that's uh, quite nice it's quick it's easy and it requires no tools from a maintenance perspective so that's that's super super nice um, uh, right uh, right there so that works out really well if you want to clean it you want to lubricate it etc all good the section also uh, unscrews as well um, and the nib unit unscrews and you can either replace it with another pen bbs nib unit or you can remove the nib from the nib unit and um, uh, put a different nib in or you can do what i did which was basically basically get the parts pack from pen bbs which has a bunch of nibs and feeds and nib holders and o-rings and all that and uh, i'm sorry it doesn't come with nibs it has everything but nibs it has feeds it has converters it has o-rings it has nib holders etc and then essentially take another nib that you have and make yourself another nib unit which is exactly what i did so i made a pen bbs nib unit out of this jinhao 
um, Architect Grind nib. So um, I had uh, a Jinhao X450 that I bought a few years ago from somebody online who was essentially taking Jinhao X450s and regrinding the nibs on them to be um, to be Architect Grind. This uh, this one. Um, um, is this normal number six Jinhao nib that's just been reground to an architect grind. Now, what is an architect grind, you might ask? Some people say it's sort of like a reverse stub. So let's talk about what we're talking about um, when we say that. Okay, here is a normal stub nib, and they're sort of unmistakable in how they look. The nib is wider uh, in width than the thickness of the nib. So as a consequence of that, when you write with a normal stub nib, if you just do a, a plain vertical stroke, you're gonna get a wide line. Now this is a pretty wide stub, so you're gonna see the effect wheeling in action here. If you go horizontally, you get a much thinner line. Now this is sort of classic stub nib behavior. So when you write, just from normal writing without doing anything, you get line variations. As you can see, the line here is considerably thinner than the line here, and I didn't do anything other than just draw some loops. So that's just sort of a normal byproduct of a stub. Now, what is an architect grind? In a sum, in an abstract sense, it's like a little bit like the reverse of the stub nib. The only thing is, it's usually it's almost invariably not nearly that extreme. So if you look at an, the nib on an architect grind pen, it kind of has that chisel effect, meaning the nib is going to be wider. Uh, going across than it is going up and down. So in a sense, it's the reverse. It has that little chisel point. But again, because you're dealing with a much small, the geometry of the nib doesn't really allow for the extreme variation that you get on a, sub, on a stub. So this effect is going to be much, much more subtle. Some architect nibs are more subtle than others. This one, the difference that you'll see when we do a writing sample is quite, quite subtle. So you do get a little bit of that architect effect on here, but because this was sort of custom ground and custom tuned by a nib meister, you get an amazing flow and it just feels fantastic, irrespective of the fact that it's even an architect grind. So I just really, really like the way this nib writes, forgetting about any of the architect grind aspects of the nib uh, at all. So that's kind of... Um, that's kind of what uh, what we're dealing with uh, what we're dealing with here from a writing uh, perspective. So speaking of writing, um, oh, before we do that, you know what? Let's compare this um, this 309 to a couple of other pen BBS pens just so you can get a, a perspective. Okay, so this is our pen BBS uh, 309 that we're talking about today. This is the pen two. This is the pen BBS 268, which is a vac filler. This is the pen BBS 500 which is the uh, spring syringe uh, filler. This is the Pen BBS uh, 355. Um, this is actually the second, uh, the, effectively the 355 V2 pen, uh, effectively. This is the bulk filler uh, type pen, and this is the Pen BBS uh, 487, um, um, which is the uh, brand new magnetic piston uh, filler. I have uh, videos on all these other pens, so I would encourage you to check uh, check my channel out if you're interested in seeing the detail. And it should be noted that I have five pen PBS pens here with five different filling systems. So that really says something about what pen BBS is up to these days in terms of really being on the cutting edge of, of interesting filling systems um, on pens. and. I still haven't covered. They, they actually make cartridge converter pens as well, which isn't even uh, isn't even covered in this group. So, the pen BBS is really doing quite a job on uh, on different filling systems. But as we said, pens are meant to write, and of course, you want to see this pen write, especially with that architect grind nib. So, I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, folks. As we said, what we're writing with here is a pen. B B S uh, model three o nine, and this has a architect nib.
so you may not be able to see again the architect grind effect is somewhat subtle on this but basically we're talking about our horizontal strokes and our vertical strokes so as you can see these are a bit thicker than these but just by a bit so if we do again our vertical strokes and we'll do our horizontal strokes and again you can see the horizontal stroke is a bit thicker it's a subtle effect but um, but I think it's a nice one and again this nib just writes so so well um, uh, irrespective of the fact that it's an architect grind um, so I just really really um, uh, like the way this uh, like I just really like the way this this writes so and again I was just a little bit bored and tired with the same old pen bbs nib pen bbs really only makes three nibs that make an extra fine which i do not buy because i'm not a fan of extra fine nibs um they make a fine and they make a medium and that's pretty much it so i, I really i've said this in other videos i think my biggest thing i'd be looking for from pen bbs going forward would be just to vary the nibs a little bit so i have a bunch of other pen bbs pens that i've swapped nibs out on and in general i've been pretty happy with it number six nibs are fairly easy to get there's a they're widely available, wide selection, etc. So swapping a nib on a pen BBS uh, pen, easy thing to do, especially if you get that parts pack. You can then make your own nib units and have sort of an inventory of nib units, and the nib units just screw right out. So that uh, that works out uh, quite, quite, uh, quite well. So I think that will about do it for the discussion of this pen BBS 309 and this Architect nib. But let's talk about this ink now for a minute now, shall we? Okay, folks, so this ink is Noodler's. X Feather. And uh, by X Feather, they mean essentially anti feathering. So this ink is really great for cheap paper, cheap copy paper, doing crossword puzzles in newspapers, etc. And so, for the matter of fact, I very often do use this ink for making crossword puzzles and newspapers and I have another video that I did oh a couple of years ago where I actually demonstrate this ink on a newspaper crossword puzzle so this is a this is an ink from Noodlers um, and it's um, again it's got that special characteristic of uh, of being an anti feather ink now the, keep in mind the way that Noodlers does this the way it handles this anti-feathering is by making it so the ink doesn't absorb into the paper particularly quickly. They actually slow down the absorption of the ink into the paper. So the ink is going to ride on the surface of the paper for longer than a normal ink. Then it won't soak into the paper. As a consequence of that, it can be a slow drying ink. I mean, nothing. there's always a trade-off for everything here. So um, you can see here, this is Fabriano paper, which is actually pretty good paper, and it's still smearing a little bit here after you know a few seconds. So just keep in mind that this is not going to be a particularly fast drying ink. So if that's a characteristic you're looking for, this is not the ink for you. One other nice added benefit of this ink is it is extremely black. Um, uh, some people say this is this is the blackest ink that Noodlers makes and might be one of the blackest inks ever. I'm not inclined to to disagree. This is very 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 black. So um, uh, again, if that's something you're looking for uh, and that would appeal to you, um, this is a good ink uh, good ink for that uh, for that as well. Um, well. Before I let you go, I do want to remind everybody to please like, comment, share, and subscribe. That would be very, very much appreciated. And as always, until we see each other again, have a great day. Bye-bye.